This is the Everyday Hustle Show, where our number one priority is self-development. Each week, we will dive into insightful topics that encourage you to push your thinking beyond average. Smash that subscribe button and tune in every Sunday at 6 p.m. Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to another edition of the Everyday Hustle Show. This is Andrew, and to my left, we have... Jessam. Some people like to call me Jessam. Some people like to call me a glimmer of hope. As you can hear, I'm a little under the weather today, but we're going to get this thing going anyway. We don't ever miss an episode because we know you guys rely on our experience, you know, our life experience. Yeah. You know? Mm. First thing I want to do is just shout out Christian. Uh, Christian obviously is not here uh, by the introduction that I just uh, did. He's in the happiest place in the world. He is. You know what? I don't think I've seen Christian in like uh, three or four weeks, and um, I'm still down with Brown, I must say. Christian, we love you, brother. Last week, Jesse wasn't here. This week, Christian isn't here, but like I always say, the show must go on. Mm. So, oh wait, the happiest place in the world. Where is he? Where is he, uh, Jess? Motherfucking... Um Mickey's house. He's at Mickey's house. He's at Disneyland, Disney, Disney World. Um, but yeah. Anyway. Um. All right, Jess. You were in Pennsylvania for your Christmas. I was. So give us a little uh, recap of your week and how everything went. You know, I learned a lot of things uh, about myself this uh, last two weeks. I learned that I have a sick habit of combing my beard, and it's very fucking satisfying. Who got you the beard comb? Oh, that was Helene. You know, I... Okay. But she just got it for you that like two days ago then, right? Yeah, but... No. Well, Christmas. Yeah, it was three days ago. Yeah, but you said you've had a bad habit for a week. No, that's just one of the things I learned about myself. Oh. I don't really know what else I learned about myself, but Christmas was great. You know, I went to uh, Pennsylvania, and this time I was up there for... Nine days, nine whole days. Usually, um, well, since I moved to Florida, it's like always a quick, quick trip, you know, four or five days. And obviously, um, with my mom, dad, my sister, her two kids, and the rest of my family members, cousins, aunts, uncles, every time I'm up there, it's kind of like this planned out thing, you know, where I, I, it's not a bad thing but i'm like going from one place to the next seeing this person that person and it always goes by so quick so it was nice to have a little bit of a longer uh trip this time so it was a longer trip with no plans well just, i mean you i just st- vibed out yeah and went I, with the like flow. i still had to see everybody i got yeah because normally everybody. if you only have three or four days somewhere right. you got to map it out but, it but if you got so, nine days it wasn't so planned yeah. out you know i got to actually um, usually I don't get to hang with my cousin Paul too much. It's like just I get to see him once quick for a couple hours. But I actually I spent like two days with him and got to hang out. And we went riding BMX, dude. He's he's like 31, still fucking rides BMX. He's like killing him. it. Dude, he's still, uh, you know. Actually, we talked about he listens to the show all the time. What do you think about Dennis's story I don't about know. that? He didn't, we didn't talk about that, but. Um, he'd be a good person to have on the show because he's really kind of he just had a baby too like three four weeks ago and oh he's, sugar uh, he's he's all about our thing of okay kind of like working on himself and he's you know he he's got a lot of things that he that he does that I think uh, well shout out to Paul if you're listening to man we appreciate you and we're definitely going to get you on the show here within the next month or two yeah. I gotta. I got a baby on the way, so I could always use some uh, some experience in that area. Yeah, I actually, um, I am the godfather of his child. We went <laughs> to the baptism while I was up there, and oh, you're the godfather of his child. Yeah, I thought that you were telling everyone that you're the automatic godfather of my child. Of every child, <laughs> no, no, of my cousin Paul. Oh, so. sugar. So we got to do that. I spent a lot of time with my sister and her kids and her husband, and and uh, I love her kids, man. Yeah, yeah, I've seen the snaps. They look cute. They're cool. They're really cool. Um, shitty thing is, Helene couldn't go because of work. So, it kind of sucked. Yeah. But the nice part about Did that you get all was, emotional watching like sappy Christmas movies? Like, 
You miss no, my you miss your girl. Really fucking into Christmas movies. We you watched, you don't like, watch uh, any Christmas movies. No, nah, dude. We not Christmas like, vac- Vacation, watched, National uh, Lampoon's Home dad. Alone, no. Christmas Story. No, fuck that shit. Elf. I would watch Elf, but we. Watched, I can't like, believe this. The Revenant. We watched like Predator seventeen times. We watched. Dude. Like, uh, we watched some Mark Wahlberg movie where he kills everyone, um, but the one nice part. Um, well, it wasn't, I mean, I would have preferred she went with, but the nice part was we kind of got to have like, well, I got to kind of have like two separate Christmas things. Yeah. Yeah. So I got, I came back here. Unfortunately, the airlines fucked me again. Coming back here, six hour delay. Oh yeah. December 25th. I seen your Snapchat. December 25th. I got the roll all to myself. Christmas flying on Christmas is awesome. As soon as I p- sent that Snapchat out, <laughs> you got fucked. They like everyone off the plane. We got. <laughs> <laughs> so I watched uh, Ray Donovan in the airport, and, and uh, Jack and Bunny are good. Oh, they're great. Shout out to they're Jack great. and Bunny. Got the Christmas card. It's just not your traditional Christmas card, you know. Just I mean, them, like we're in Alaska or some shit. Yeah, just doing things, you know. Yeah. It's not like they're like. Wearing red and black flannels and sitting in the, you know, on a no. bale of hay or something saying happy holidays. I mean, they are just living their lives. They're like on the side of a glacier, you yeah. know, drinking water from uh, yeah. melted glaciers. You know, no disrespect to anybody who sent the Christmas card like that. I think Christmas cards are a you great little, <laughs> I think they're a great little touch. It's nice to open something, you know. Did you Do you get any Christmas cards? Just immediate, uh, my cousin, my aunt, a couple yeah. people like that. I like to have like a collage to like, you know, yeah. like a collage on the side of your fridge that you mm. can like, you know, look back on from the years. Mm. Mm. Um, right on. What okay. Else? So like you had mentioned that you had went on a hunting trip with your dad and you said it was the most fun that you ever had with him. Yeah. Tell me about the experience and why was it the most fun that you ever had with him? Well, Hunting to my dad is probably like his number it's like one sacred, thing. like sacrilegious. Well, it's just like you know, as much as oh, that's what like, he's into. As much as we like jet skiing or something, he yeah. loves hunting. I'm not like against other types of hunting, as far as like my dad goes deer hunting, bow archery, different guns, this and that. Yeah. But for some reason, like shotguns. Like, you ever shoot, like, clays? Hell yeah, my brother. Well, yeah, so that's fucking... With the buckshots you're things, talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shooting clays, but this was like... Do you shoot clays to prepare for the for the ducks we and the birds, though. right? We did But I'm saying, we isn't should've. that the concept, like... It's the same concept. You shoot clays because, you know, you, tra- yeah. you track the bird and then you, you know, yeah, you shoot like where the, the bird's thing. gonna be instead of yeah. where the bird is, and that's how you... But we didn't... I haven't probably shot a shotgun in a couple of years. And, Paul! Uh, Paul! My dad's buddy's this uh, pharmacist, and he's he's got like these two German dogs that are like trained to a T. And you go to this place, and they the fields are like cleared out, and they got these strips of like uh, sorghum or some t- type of planted strips where it's like chest high. And there's all these birds in there, and they, uh, uh, me and my dad walk on either side like through the strips, and then. His buddy's in the middle with his dogs, and you know, one one dog at a time, and the dog just kind of tracks these birds down, points them out, and then someone runs up on them, they fucking fly out, and you blast, dude. We shot 17 birds. It was exhilarating. It was exercise. It was a beautiful day. Probably one of the most beautiful days that I was there. It was what kind of birds? Time. Pheasants. Ooh, you eat them? They're uh, nice dark meat, right? Yeah, the, my dad's buddy who was like had the dogs took them to butcher them and stuff. Okay, my dad wasn't really interested in the meat so much. It was More just, kind just of, the sport. It was fun, but so. it didn't go to waste, right? No, he took them. Yeah, is the there a season for that up there? Yes, I didn't know that. And either, like limits and stuff. Yeah, kind of. I guess most like regular hunting, like it stops sometime before summer in the spring, and then picks up again in the fall. Like yeah. Maybe it does. There's no season from May to whatever September, and then from September to May, you can you can kill all the fucking birds you want. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, but it was uh, cool. But other than that, the trip was really cool with my dad too because I had showed you the video. Yeah. That I made. 
So real quickly, it's kind of a long story, but every Christmas um, since I moved in Florida, it's I don't do a lot of the legwork as far as Christmas presents for my mom and dad because like my sister's up there. Me and my sister discuss stuff, figure it out. We have like a budget between the two of us. She does most of the legwork as far as getting the stuff. And you just and foot I the bill. Just pay, you know, Not this year, Bob. But then I, so I the tables have turned, huh? A little more special, you know. Well, me and Helena got stuff separately from my mom and dad too, but um, just some little things. But yeah, I did this video for my dad. It was like a tribute to this project that he volunteered on, um, moving this log cabin uh, for one of his like friends who had passed away, and uh, I know it meant a lot to him. And dude, it was it was crazy. The first like when we right before we started opening presents, you know, I gave him the DVD. He opened it up and then didn't really know what the hell it was. And then I played it. Dad was fucking in tears of joy. Um, it was pretty like an emotional thing, you know. And he he was like, dude, this is the the best thing anyone has ever like done for me, you know. So it was uh it was much appreciated. Uh, it felt really good to kind of do something like that. And now he's kind of having me, well, while I was up there, I made like 10 copies of the DVD for him. Uh huh. So he was like going around giving it to people who knew nice. the guy and stuff. And, and he called me the other day. was like, I need another dozen copies of the DVD. <laughs> so like, I gotta make, make more. Cause he's out there giving it to all kinds of people who knew this guy and who helped on the project. So that was a cool thing, man. It was, uh. Overall, it was a it was a really really good Christmas this year, really good. And then I came back Christmas night, and me and Helena kind of did our uh, exchange of of gifts, and uh, she went to town on me, and I went to town on her as far as gifts, not sexual. What well, we did, well, <laughs> that was gonna be my next question. Yeah, yeah afterwards. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but the gifts, she ah, uh, everyone did so good this year. I. Uh, I'm just really stoked. I really yeah. kept saying to everybody, riveting content, way to keep the stoke alive. I mean, that's true. It's Nobody true. I really understood what I was trying to say, but yeah, I get it. You get it. We all get it. I don't know, man. I just, I feel some kind of type of way about the gifts, you know, like it's great and all, but like the past few years, I've just found myself wandering around the mall, just trying to spend money that was unnecessary, you know? Well, Yeah. And I knew you know. I was doing that too this year, like for Helena. You know, last year it was like yeah, we yeah. Had just met like a couple months before. That. Yeah, yeah. We it's a, it's a newer like, relationship, so that's yeah. This just, year it's like a lot more serious, and I, I really wanted to get her shit that you know it wasn't you know all, everything I got and everything she got we all could live without. It's completely right. unnecessary. Yeah, nobody but, needs AirPods. Right. They're but, fucking dope though. Helena, <laughs> Helena got some AirPods. She got an iPad. <laughs> She got some jewelry and stuff, and yeah, just, yeah. Uh, I love her. I want her to have the stuff. Same thing with my mom and dad, sister, the kids. The the my sister's kids got. You should see the amount of shit they got. It is yeah. unreal. Yeah, but we fucking love them. You know, we do shit for the people we love. Yeah, no, I I I'm not disagreeing with that. I Don't just be a piece feel of shit, Drew. I just I mean, and listen, I'm the number one believer in Santa Claus. And Christmas and the holidays and all that stuff, but I just feel like some people in this country are entitled and spoiled, you know. And um, oh yeah, it's kind of just how we're raising the the next generation. Oh you know? yeah, you should have seen. That's the other thing. My sister's older kid. God bless her. But like maybe he didn't get the shit that he wanted. He was like a fucking grouch no, the rest even, of the week or something. So before uh, we did Christmas because the. Because of my sister's kids and stuff and the timeline of me leaving on Christmas morning, we did it the Saturday before. So it was like three days before Christmas. We opened stuff like between me, my mom, my sister, her husband, and their kids. But we didn't do it till that evening. And all day we were hanging out with the kids and the kids were just being fucking brats. Like, yeah, I want to open these gifts. Like, no, you need to wait. And they were just like complete dicks. Yeah. To the point where, like, I thought my sister's husband was going to tell him, like, going Christmas is home. canceled. Christmas is over. <laughs> and I was like, damn, like, you know, we love these kids. We want them to have all this stuff, but they're really fucking spoiled, you know? Yeah. You know, I, 
the juice bar is inside of you know yoga studio and the neighborhood is and then the area is is generally it's it's nice i mean if you google like the average income it's 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 high you know and anytime there's kids in there that you know like maybe like a mom brings the kids while she goes to class they kind of hang out sometimes they hang out by the juice bar sometimes they hang out there's a couch every single one of them has yeezys ipad pro headphones on i swear dude i swear so sometimes i just look at that and i'm like you know we're fucked you know yeah well wait dude but then then they're like one year and you're gonna be spoiling the living shit or jen i mean out of your kid i mean am i you know i don't know jen look at jen (laughs) <laughs> just take I don't know. one look I don't dude. know dude I don't know I guess at the older I get the more like my mind changes about that type of stuff you know and, and yeah. this year for Christmas you know Jen and I stayed home obviously she's nine plus months pregnant you know and um nine plus yeah it's over you know nine? a full term pregnancy is ten months what yeah yeah not me- I, I I thought the same I was like nine months yeah yeah she's nine 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 and a half months pregnant um so anyway we stayed home you know my mom just moved to Florida so we dish it was me her and my mom like Senior super low-key yeah we did we just we just had dinner um we went to the beach for a couple hours you know we exchanged very very you know small gifts like literally nothing uh crazy and uh jen and i kind of uh you know wanted to do something for the house this christmas so we got a really nice couch you know and that was you know our gift to one another um that will you know we'll have for a long time yeah that's awesome you know and there'll be a lot of memories on the couch we'll hang out on the couch a lot so i thought that that thought was a cool gonna say something else about the couch <sighs> i mean it's what happens out. happens you know i mean yeah but you know um yeah so we kind of just hung it hung in florida low-key we're just kind of waiting for the baby to come you know obviously we can't travel anywhere do anything uh but it was nice to to have like a super chill you know christmas where because we did the we did the the couch thing right for for gifts so like we literally did zero shopping well like she got a few things for my mom yeah. but like i did zero shopping right and just my stress and anxiety through the past couple weeks has just been so dude, low i will say this i was fucking going talk about it dude. trying to get talk christmas about gifts it. not like it was anything really difficult but and granted like everything i got you know, I, I could have got gave her like a fucking hard boiled egg wrapped up and she would not have cared. I right. I think most likely. But um, I mean, she might look at you a little weird. Right. But a hard boiled egg. I would at least paint would, the shell yeah, or something. I, I probably wouldn't have had to get what I got. But I was still like in my head. I was like, oh, my God, is she going to fucking like this? I really hope she fucking. Yeah. Likes this. yeah. And, I, it's just, it and then even if they stressful. don't like it, they usually just lie. You know, yeah, say, like oh, it's I just can, a little yeah. stressful, dude. You know? Yeah. So stress and anxiety, that's another thing. Like, so you have people who are, who are ungrateful, you know, you have people who, and then there's also the dynamic of like families get together around the holidays, which there's always more anxiety and stress because, you know, you don't always have that many people in one room, you know, yeah, or one house. And this year I, I just didn't, I, I, I heard about other people's anxiety and stress. So it was nice to kind of. We watched Christmas with the Cranks. You ever seen that movie? Yeah. They they tried to quote unquote skip Christmas, you know. And I felt like in a way that we kind of skipped Christmas, you know. Not fully skipped. I mean, we had the tree. We did the, you know. It's a different different but take. This exactly, year. exactly. I didn't do shopping. I didn't travel anywhere. You know, it was just so relaxing. And that was I, cool. I yeah, it was great. It was great. Next um, year it'll be all so, be about the kid, dude. Exactly. Yeah, the Next baby will be years. one years old. You know, and the baby's gonna have a probably birthday around Christmas. I'm hoping she's gonna get. You know? By the way, she's getting completely screwed on that. I mean, I've heard. No, listen, I've heard people who have Christmas birthdays are fucking pissed. They're pissed at the world, okay, because they kind of get shitted on on their birthday. As far as uh, you know, my birthday's in March. Yeah. So whatever I didn't get on Christmas, mm, it's coming for you, B Day. March. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, her birthday could be in the middle of January. You yeah, know, dude, which it's not that's gonna, that's far enough right? away from Christmas. No, it's not. <laughs> She's coming tomorrow. Well, the next thing I want to transition into real quick. Um, obviously, we're coming up on New Year's. 2018 was a great year for the podcast. Mm. We accomplished a lot of goals, and we, although it was challenging to keep it 
going. We we we've kept it going, and um, you know, I don't know. New Year's resolutions to me, I just think people are fucking corny, you know. And I want to know what you think about that whole process because. You know, I set goals and like resolutions and shit like daily, you know, so I just want to like I see people already posting things about like diet this and and, like that's great. Like more power to you. But but I don't really core like, listen, I got one thing right now that uh, me and Helena both agreed to that we're doing, which kind of would apply as a New Year's resolution. And it happens to be falling into the New Year's. But. This isn't, I wasn't like, ooh, I want to do this because it's a New Year's resolution. I just, I've been talking about this, thinking about this for the last couple of months. And finally, I'm like, okay, like enough talking. Like, I want to, this is like a major thing for me. Well, should I just say it? What it is, it's nothing crazy, but so. I mean, is it like a secret or like? No, no, no. Okay. Freaking spit it out, dude. a sex change. (laughs) No. So I, uh, (laughs) we've been. Well, I've always been thinking, probably since we started the podcast, it was probably one of my original things about how I'm shitty at saving money. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And unfortunately, I think the easiest way, like I am really not good. Like if I have a savings account and it's linked to my debit card, I don't like, I don't just put money in there and then I'm like, oh, okay, that's money saved. Like I consider it money that is still accessible to me. So, like, I need some, like, extreme means to, like, really start this Like an process. account that you can't access? Right. Or yeah. just an account that I don't have a debit card to. Yeah. So, I decided, and I talked about Helena with it, because, you know, within the next... I'm trying to get rid of my apartment, number one. I'm trying to find somebody to take my spot. And when that happens, I mean, I'll be moving into Helena's, which I kind of already am. But it'll be saving all of us some money. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, with our plan is like within a year or so, uh, hopefully not longer than that. Like we want to have some money saved up and, and buy a house somewhere. Right. So if I continue to keep doing what I'm doing right now, like I just spend money and I don't really save anything. I mean, I'm, you know what I mean? It's just, it's not, it's not working. So we talked about opening a joint account, you know, in both of our names, um, that like neither of us really, I mean, obviously I could go to the bank and take the money out, but I wouldn't have like a debit card and it. it's a whole different thing, you know, plus it's like not only my money. So I, w- I feel like this is the easiest way for me to like change this habit. You know what I mean? I love everything that I'm hearing, dude. I love so, it. So, um, I'm hearing discipline. I'm hearing yeah. strategy. I'm hearing commitment. So my dad, it. my dad always like, you know, me and my sister and her husband or whatever, he always gives us like money on Christmas. And I kind of like, usually I'm like, Ooh, I get that. And then buy I, a gift. Yeah. Like I do yeah. something with it every year. So this year you're starting the account with that money. Right. So Fuck this, yeah. This year too. It wasn't just my money either. Like instead of my dad being like, here, Jesse, here's your envelope or whatever. It's me and Helena's. Oh, know. Helena's name's on it too. Right. So holy sugar sticks. So he gave us um, he gave us seven hundred bucks, and we're gonna freaking yeah, we we're opening great. a freaking uh, joint account with great. Him. And I'm working out uh over the next couple of weeks how much I can, and I'm getting a raise at work. So I'm working out once that comes through, and I see how much that is, like how much I can put in there every month, putting money in there every month, and. Seeing what we can do about changing my, my fucking spending. Habits. I love it, dude. I love it. I think that's a really awesome plan. Dive yeah, right in, yeah, dude. It's not like a New Year's resolution. I've been th- I've been thinking about this constantly for like two years. Yeah. And doing nothing, and it's really like, it really bothers me. You know. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not trying to say that people shouldn't set resolutions. No, but this is. I'm like, trying to it say that be something you should only think about. In fucking the last two weeks of December. Strive for greatness every month. Every fucking month. Of the Why year. you got to wait for a new year to click around right. to find out that you're a failure failure again. Yeah, fuck you, know? fuck you, man. Fail every month, yeah. you know? Don't fail once a year. Fail 12 times a year. Mm. Mm. Dude, so how much do you love jet skiing? Did you listen to our last episode? With Giovanni? Yeah. No, because I thought he was here so I, dude, me permanently. 
You seen the Facebook Live video that I did in Florida Freeriders? Yeah, where you were out in the ocean on the sit The conditions were like t- 10 out of 10. It's right? perfect. My ski wasn't running right. I couldn't figure it out. You know what it was? What? My check valve on the gas tank was on backwards. Dude, who put it on? And we stopped riding because of that. Who put it on there? I don't know, dude. Probably me. That sucks. That was my problem solution was that like, you know, a little little issue like that I was overlooking because I was so fired up because the swells were just (laughs) perfect. If there was a, the wind was right this week, it would have been legit. Yeah. Yeah, we had a good we had a good session the other day. Yeah, it wears you out though. It was really windy, really choppy. You kind of get uh, I was getting fucking smacked in the face, and then before you can catch a breath, you're getting smacked in the face again. But still fun, dude. Yeah, yeah. New uh, new wetsuit. I just really feel uh, I really feel feel like a beautiful human being when I put that thing on. That's right, my dude. That's right. You you just keep you keep doing it. All right, so. This episode, wait a second, drop that Nimbus cloud, Jesse. Nimbus cloud. <laughs> All right. This episode is brought to you in part by D Squared Media. Um, D Squared Media is your all-in-one solution for everything, graphic design, web design, logos, branding, um, web development, whatever you need, uh, they can help you with that. Uh, they've been gracious with helping us with the podcast. Uh, they actually redid our website. So if you want to check out some of the work they did, you can check out our website, which is the everyday hustle show.com. Or you can check out my personal website, um, which is Andrew where you can also pick up t-shirts and, uh, different miscellaneous merchandise for the everyday hustle show. Um, I want to thank Jesse for coming out. Mm. Um, it's holiday week. We don't ever miss. We don't miss a beat. We don't miss. You know, we don't miss episodes out here. You know, every week we're we're uh, we're releasing an episode. So we haven't uh, haven't quit any time, and we're not going to you know quit anytime soon. I want to thank AC Delgado for the dope beat. Uh, you rock, my man, and thank you so much, everyone. We'll see you next week. Mm. Mm.